All right, just come in and gather around. I'll kind of show you what you're going to do. So I already, let me, in, let me shut this door real quick. I already tied in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you didn't catch that part of the lecture, the online lecture's on Canvas. So what I did is I took you all through the second half of the semester and just took motivation and showed you how motivation was connected all the way through. Here we're talking about motivation in terms of needs with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Not only have we reached our full potential with the theoretical concepts, but we've also, we're going to reach our full potential with the activities, meaning it's going to go into something that is functional. You may not recognize it. Have y'all guessed what this is yet? Okay, yeah. So anyway, we will get it fully functional next class period. But think Maslow's. Lower level needs, physiological needs, there's nothing I can do for you on that other than to make, it a, make you aware of how important those are. Same thing with safety and security. Nothing I can do for you. But in a class setting, I can put you in a social setting where you have to work with other people to get something done. So we've done that. Hopefully that boosted your self-esteem. It could have hurt it, but hopefully it had a better impact than COVID did on your self-esteem. And we've reached our full potential. We're putting this thing together. You're going to need one person to assemble the top hoop segments. So the other class has gotten you to this point. Now we just need those top hoop segments and the swing arms. Now, because this is not machined, and I've just been a couple of hours ahead of you as we've gone through, I just took a hand drill. So these bolts only line up one way. This is not a machined product. So they have to go on a specific way. This hoop segment here says top right, so that I would know that it goes here, that this is the top part, this is the bottom part. You're going to take the bolt out, put this on, and then line it up. Knowing how this went together, you're probably going to want to start here first and put this one on, because it's easier to get on, and it'll make this one easier to line up. Do not put much stress on these parts here. The tubes are strong because they're commercially made, but these have been casted by me. So this is cast aluminum is way weaker than extruded aluminum. So you can't torque and twist, you can't bang, you can't hit, because it will break. Put this part on first, connect it here, slide the bolt in, repeat the process on the other side, and then we'll put the swing arms in, and I'll show you how those go on. And then next class, I'll talk about what each one of these major components, what it does for us. You'll notice here on this one, this one has areas for the netting to go on. This one doesn't yet, because that's how close I've been all semester of just barely staying ahead of y'all. So I spent six hours yesterday just getting to this point so y'all would have something to assemble. But it is functional, because I've already flown it. But we're going to slap an engine on it, a harness on it, and then I'll show you next class period how it looks when it's hanging from a paraglider and we'll take your group photo with it in it, with me hanging from it. So that'll be the group photo that goes into your riding sample, your final riding sample. All right, I'm going to turn you loose. Go ahead and work on this. Again, don't put too much stress on it. That's one of our guys, isn't it? I think she works here. All right. Braxton, yeah, I'll help you out here. I'll just show you. that out. So this is going to slide on. Get your bolt in first. There you go. And then just run those down finger tight. We don't have to tighten them all the way because I'm going to have to pre-flat this thing anyway before I fly it again. All right. So this is where we got to be careful is connecting it here. So if you'll hold this bolt. There we go. Let's get this one into place first. Go ahead, press it in, and you'll see how crazy these bolt holes are. Look at that. Look how, look how far off I was. So, and look, look at this stuff. This is just stuff taken out of my scrap yard because this, this is expensive. Like, even the aluminum that I bought just for this product was over 500 bucks. Can you be videoing this? Huh? Videoing it? Yeah, one of your group members needs to videotape it for you. So they just need us assembling, and then we'll talk about how Maslow, we reached our full potential, not just with the theory, 
but with this. All right, so go ahead and place that one in place. There you go, slide your bolt on. There you go, put the nut on. Now I'm gonna come up with different attachments, but I needed something for y'all to be able to do that was quick and fast. Some of these I'm gonna rivet in where they're stuck, kind of like I riveted in these sections. So yeah, so here's what y'all built. These two connections, uh, this one, and this one right here. So you've got, oh, and this is what we did last time. This is the best one out of all the classes. And so that's foam casted, and then I grinded it down. Which, which one was it with the Tuesday class? Huh? Uh, this was my Tuesday, Thursday class. So what happened was the ones I gave y'all, I learned from it. Y'all's was so thin, the foam was so thin, that it didn't cast well. And I tried it in different angles to see if it was a gravity issue or if it was the type of aluminum I was using, and I could not get it to cast. And so on my Tuesday, Thursday class, I corrected for that error. Look at that, that's a half inch thick. So I went with a thicker piece and I had no problem with it. All of them cast it out of that class. So it was the thickness. So this is where we gotta be careful that we don't break anything. There we go. Slide that in. Now for the swing arms, and y'all are gonna see this on the first flight of this model, I get a crazy takeoff. You'll get to see this in week 14. What's happened is the weight shift was off. I didn't put any weight shift on these swing arms. So depending on the, which way the propeller goes, you get counter rotation where your harness wants to twist and it'll cause you to fly in the wrong way. To offset that, we do a weight shift offset. But I didn't realize this electric engine was gonna have that much torque and I almost crashed on takeoff. So you'll get to see that um, next class. Well, week 14, sorry. So all we gotta do on these is make sure this little washer here is pressed up against that piece. This slides on and then just put those on finger tight. You don't need to run it all the way down. The washer, this washer comes off right? Yeah, that washer comes off, plastic washer stays on. And what you're seeing here, this is how the netting is gonna cinch down for y'all next class period. You'll have very little to do other than to put the battery on, connect it, and then we'll run up the engine next class period without the propeller. I don't want anybody getting caught up in the, in the propeller. And then we would just crank those down, that's it. So here's what we're gonna do next class period. We're gonna put the actual harness on the frame that I fit in. These are the points at which it connects. This is the point at which I connect into the paraglider that we're gonna connect it to climbing ropes. We're gonna slap a battery on here. These two bolt holes here are where the battery will stop because it'll have two things that extend out. The motor will mount over it, we'll connect it here, and then we'll have a throttle, and we'll do a run up in here so that you can see it's functional. And then we'll finish tightening the, net, tightening the netting because I'll have it finished by then. And then sometime between now and week 14, I'll try to get another flight in with the netting on, hopefully this weekend. And then we have reached our full potential. This will get better over time. Y'all are the very first class to build this. And when you see what, I've, what this has evolved out of, I built one out of a laundry basket. And that's where the idea of bringing this as a class activity came in. And so slowly but surely it's evolved over time. This one was supposed to be a gas powered engine until I broke the whole frame pulling on the pull start and broke the pull start. And I had to recast it, but I had no time to fix the engine. So I slapped an electric engine on it and went and flew it with that which is way less maintenance, way less stress on the frame. Cool, all right, that's it, that's all I got for you. Make your video over Maslow's, how we reached our full potential with the theory, and now we're reaching our full potential with all those activities actually going into something functional. And if you're gonna be an engineering major, it'll be a great thing to have on your resume. I'll let y'all back in the building and then I'll clean this place up. Don't forget to do your discussion. I'll remind them when we get back in here. So we gotta do our discussion, qualitative survey, and if you haven't done the quiz yet, make sure you knock that out. And we'll take the group photo on Wednesday.
with the fully assembled paramotor. All right, we got that, that's good. We'll pull images from that. 